in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Welcome folks. Bonjour everyone, we hope you've had a good week. Yes, um, so this, this week in the uh, video we'll um, you see me making progress on the uh, on top of the beams we put in the other week yep. building all the joists or bastions they call it in France um, <coughs> doing some noggin work tying it all in I'm over three quarters of the way now um, on the floor um, I've come to a stop but you'll see in the video why because there's a little bit of extra work now mm -hmm. we've gained uh, which is going to put us back a f quite a few weeks actually because we've got a uh, reconstruct a corner of the of the wall but that will come to that yep also um, you will see in previous videos where you and James fitted the beams there was very deep holes yep. um, well obviously in different corners of the wall either side of the beams now I filled all them haven't yep. I and then I've started filling no, well on... you filled two of the one side one full side haven't yes you? Not, yeah. the, not the other ends because I've no, got to rebuild that. Because you, you'll obviously explain that. And then I've started on the back wall, haven't mm -hmm. I? Just but that that's not going to be so neat the finish because that's going to be covered up with the floor. Also, um, you'll get to see which I've done before. Um, French? No, not French onion. I've got French onion soup on the brain. That's the next Pumpkin one. soup. <laughs> Pumpkin, Pumpkin soup. soup. We've mascarpone and parmesan croutons like french bread that so at the end of the video you'll see trace doing the cooking again yeah that um, was delicious wasn't it was beautiful and also i've been doing um the blinds for our bedroom which yeah. you'll see in an up and coming video i'm just waiting for the fringing and the tassels to come on yeah. I, so i can stitch them on and i've also started stripping the headboard so there'll be a small video on me upholstering the headboard as well so there's a lot of stuff to come for tracy with tracy doing yeah in um, upcoming videos because the nice soft stuff where tracy wants to do well, she'll shine when she's coming you know as the time goes by yeah. but um in <coughs> this uh video we uh no actually i want to talk about one thing first come the on. last two videos we did were um oh. to do with our, our uh, garden yeah and uh, we had some lovely comments thank you and uh we would like you know to see if you're really enjoying that um we might be taking another avenue on that won't we yeah but in the way of maybe starting another youtube channel yeah yeah for gardening for gardening only yeah uh, because i can understand this there would be quite a few of you that are just want your renovation you just want yeah. to see renovation so that's fair enough um but there is quite a few of you out there like both and there <coughs> is uh starting to get people from the gardening world coming over yeah so um you know we we are here for a lot of that a lot of our life here in the future moving forwards is about growing our own produce you i said that in the last one um keeping our own animals uh for food as well as you know for what they do making things with all the produce exactly whatever it is soups dinners because eventually like we said we will be getting yeah. chickens as eaters chickens as layers yeah. and so, so you know all that will be coming um and we would like to sort of keep eventually turn the the because tracy's brilliant a brilliant cook and she cooks such a lot of stuff such a diversity of things and uh I keep telling her she should make her own cookbook and she, I think she will eventually. Eventually. But um, I've actually got my own family cookbook which has got a lot yeah, of recipes. Yeah, from the family recipes. Yeah, yeah, so if the family have made them, they put them in there as well. So it might be something I'm, I'm definitely thinking of in the future. I would in the future. Yeah. Do it. Um, but where was I on that? Um, I think what would be a nice marriage is if we keep all our gardening, all our growing, homesteading, uh, self-sufficiency, yeah. um, you know, uh, being f not frugal, but, you know, making fresh produce yeah. and good things out of stuff you can do yourself yeah. <clears throat> and cooking with Tracy's cooking segments yeah. on one channel. And then this this channel here will carry on with the renovations. Yeah. 
Karen as normal and not mix the two up so we can focus on each one as as uh, um, its individual self without it getting too confusing for not you the main audience that watch us all the time because you understand that this is, this is our uh, French life. French farmhouse diaries. We are giving you yeah. our diaries of our life really yes. what we do it bits here and there and um, you know going going forwards it you've got people joining and they're looking for pacific items in um, yeah. youtube they're either looking for gardening or looking for renovations or they might be looking just for carpentry work or whatever you yeah. know so we're, we're going to try and break that up into two and that's coming later we don't know when but it's going to be coming um and at the moment we are uh trying to do everything <laughs> <coughs> not enough hours of the day yeah we need we need 48 hours a day don't we enough of me we need 48 hours a day and uh, at least get eight hours sleep a day. <laughs> the day goes so quick here. I Does. mean, it's we're up early and yeah. before you know it's 12 o'clock, then yeah. it's four o'clock. And... Time goes quick because yeah. we're busy. Yeah. That's, the, that's the thing, because we're so busy. Um, you know, we, we do a lot of things. We bring things forward that we've practised and done in the past. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, we can see that. It's, it, I mean, we're... We're helping other people. We're influ yes. influencing other channels. We can see that, you know, channels. Well, we've are, been told that. From we've been told channels, it. Yes, yeah, we've been so, told it, and which you know, is nice. other channels are watching us and copying along or picking the same things we're liking, which yeah. is nice. It's a compliment, you know. Yeah. We think that's good, but that's, that's it, really. That's that's going forward. But watch the pumpkin one at the end with mm. Tracy. Oh my God, that was delicious. It was really tasty. We had it three times in two weeks, haven't we? Yeah. And each time it's just lovely beautiful and you don't need to have it with the cheesy croutons because it's enough on its own i yeah. think but you can taste all the ingredients it's really lovely isn't Hello, it cheers. Uh, anyway guys yep. hopefully that in too long a caravan corner for you Again. oh and remember we're going to have compost corner as well you've seen that in one of them so go on you want to be compost corner caravan corners when we've got a renovation coming up for yep. you all right and don't forget to when you do watch our videos um, to share, like, and subscribe. And yeah. if you'd like to join us on supporting our, our channel, yeah, yeah. supporting us on our channel, you can join the French Farmhouse Diaries Patreon page. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Bon weekend, everyone. Anyway, thank you to all. Until Bye -bye. next week. So, folks, I was uh, just filming Tracy uh, making her curtains for our bedroom, or the blinds, and uh, I keep seeing this thing on the stairs. Look, I don't know what's more spooky. That. <laughs> or my skull I'd rather look at my skull anyway this is uh, what Tracy's using for modelling her knitwear she does so she does lots of types look there's tons of it here for different people that have ordered um, all of it in there some of it's crocheted some of it's knitted like headbands and things like that um, but I'm sure this thing moves around at night because when I come out here in the dark and go to the toilet in the night it's either like that, or it's looking like that, or it's moving around like that. I don't know if Tracy's winding me up or not, but anyway. That'll all be coming up in your Etsy page, won't it, Trey? Yeah. When you start your Etsy page, yeah. or whatever page you're going to do, website, even a website. We're not no, sure I'm, yet. No, I'm starting an Etsy shop. It's Etsy all shop, right, sorry. It's all the at the moment, but there's so much to take photos of. Yeah. But I asked Valerie, could I buy her... So all this lot, someone people have ordered... Yeah, this lot is to be friends. sent off. No, these are what people have got me to knit. But this is all what I've got to do pictures. But I've still got oh, to right, take... Oh, right, so you're going to model this lot, right? I've still got to take pictures of all of this to put on the website. Because I'll be and I'll let you know where she came from. Valerie and Lionel across the road are our friend, French friends. And she's very, very quirky, Valerie. One day I'm going to video her her house if she lets me it's lovely and uh she clicks like a mannequins and doll heads See and things like that so we borrowed it off her so she could model it wouldn't it <laughs> but she had a mannequin we bought a mannequin when we was out and uh she bought, one. She bought a full-size proper mannequin a real quality one and uh it was funny because we had to like dismantle it and we're all walking out of the uh Bracon with this mannequin all wrapped around us we had Tableau de Chavez and other things. Yeah, in loads the back of stuff. Of their car, wasn't it? We look like something out of uh, uh, Only Falls and Horses, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Hello, folks. Right, so just a little update on the uh, floor. I'm building in the what is at the moment the workshop, but will become the uh, our dining room at some stage. But I've now put in the double trimmer on this side. Tracy's cemented it in the wall there. We've gone in a good sort of seven or eight inches into that wall. Um, 
and then round here she's finished off this bit underneath so it's all tied in tight the good thing about this uh, floor is the span is only to the beam so you know you've got a short span one and a half meters or so from there to there and then there to there and then there to there you can see it going up uh, on this wall we ain't got so much bearing but we're gonna have enough so we've got about four to five inches of bearing on each one going into the wall up here uh, Joyce I've got two more to do which I'm gonna do do now uh, but I just want to show you as it was going up rather than just show it completely all finished uh, I'm gonna go up the ladder now little steps so if I fall down don't laugh um, so there's the floor it sits nice and level all the way through I'm just gonna get myself up so just bear with me <coughs> Okay, so you can see how the construction is there, how it all comes together. I'm a one-man band on my own at the moment because Tracy's uh, got off to make some curtains for the bedroom, which are important. We do need them for a bit more comfort and that, and a bit more privacy. Uh, not that there's any people come past, but <laughs> you know what it's like when you're in a bright room and it's dark at night and you don't know who's looking in. Anyway, more for Tracy than me. But... Um, I've got two more to go in here. The shoes are in over there on the double trimmers. Uh, two more to come in here. And this area here, if I turn you up to the roof, you can see a, a beam there. Well, that beam depicts where the partition will come down onto the floor here. And it will go all the way across here to this wall, which is uh, 4.5, 5.5. It's about 5.2 metres or something like that across. It might be five anyway, whatever. But it's uh, the length. So that and this this part here, in here, will be a bathroom. So we'll have a, probably a bath in the centre here, coming away from the wall, uh, toilet and sink in here. I've got a nice space in here because uh, you've got roughly about uh, two and a half metres across and then up to... Uh, five meters in the length which is a decent sized bathroom and in that room that will be a bedroom coming in from over there so you'll be coming in over here but I've got a little bit of configuring to do I'm going to take you down and show you that actually I thought you'd like to see that see the notching I'm doing over the stair over the beams I'm having to notch over nice and neatly and strong and then what I'm doing is is you'll see four inch wires we call them or nails with flat top head right and uh, we call that stitching or uh, tosh nailing sometimes they call it depends what part of England you're from I think in America they call it stitch nailing as well but um then I've got a splain over here this is our big dilemma here this corner so I need a staircase coming through here through this part right but I've got to lower this down to get the headroom which is above this is one option. I was going to take that beam out, but it's a lot of work to cut that beam out and shore all that up. So I might just leave that in, and then I'm going to lower the, down here to the floor level, which is them orange dots there. It's the floor level inside there. Then I'm going to have the staircase. I'm going to make a staircase that comes in out here, out here. So it'd be projected out here with two um, uh, braces going back. And that'll be a, an opening up there. Yeah, it's hard to explain it unless you understand it. Uh, but underneath that, I'm going to have to build a false wall here and a false wall in front of me here to create a cupboard space there where it hides the top of the staircase, if you like. And then it creates here a bit of a hallway going up to the new stairs that I make going up there. So I've got one, two, and another staircase to make up in the man cave. So I've got three, sta three staircases to make by hand. And I'll make them here and show you that when I'm doing them. Um, and work out, show you, give you an idea of how you work them out. And how you find your, your rise and your going. And all the other bits you need to know. If you want to know. <laughs> but uh, then that'll be uh, up into that room. That'll take us a staircase up there. The only difference on that staircase on that side. There'll be... Uh, it'll be what we call an open stringer on one side. So as you look as you look at the stairs from the side, you'll see the treads going up. And then there'll be a nice moulding around them, and then you'll have two 
uh, balustrades coming off of each step. It's a very old Victorian way of making staircase, but it looks beautiful and it aerates the room. It gives a, because staircases, you can make a, a just a straight staircase with a, a string of sides, which is a basic, basic staircase. And it's, it always looks boxy and clunky and horrible. So I'm going to give it some sort of a sexy appeal, <laughs> as they say. But look, the old beams in here. Look, Tracy's going to do this tomorrow. She's putting these in. I've got to take that timber out of the way for her. She's going to fill it, consolidate, spend a whole day doing them too, because it will take her a long time to get them finished. Um, and that's it. So you're getting a bird's eye view of everything. All the shoes are in now. All the double trimmers are in. All locked in into the walls. So the stress factors are really good. They'll hold a lot of weight because we're using these beams and the walls to hold the weight up there. And uh, you saw me doing the stitch. Now I told you about the stitch now, Lynn. I do two from one side, two from the other side. It's very important to get that. Uh, people forget that and neglect it. They put one in, put two, two, and it pinches it. And what that happens, it stops the floor. When you're walking on the floors over a long time, it stops from creaking and bouncing. It gives you a nice, stiff, hard floor and stops the, uh, the you know, when you get joists moving and floorboards moving. Um, or whatever your coverings are. But anyway, hope I explained all that to you and you can understand it. Ah, oh, a little bit quick one, quick one. We're probably going to have to take this wall here down as well. Okay, this will all have to come down to there and then I'm going to rebuild it in stud because it's not really doing nothing. It's just a lot of weight standing up there and it's only sitting on these two and look, on that little tiny wooden uh, thing. I know it's been here a long time, but I ain't going to trust it. So it's coming down, take the weight off it, relieve the weight, and put some stud work up there, make it lighter, and it will give us a good route or route for our wiring as well when we come from the uh, main consumer unit. Okay, welcome back, folks. Uh, just going to give you a bird's eye view of what I'm seeing now as I'm putting these joists down. So you can see over the end, I've took that joist out so Tracy can work over there. She's down a little old, I'll show you her in a minute. Uh, but these are where them two big beams we put in, me and my son. And they're solid now. When you walk up here, you can't even feel a spring or nothing. It's just solid as a rock. Uh, as you can see the double trimmers here. Double trimmers over the far side. And then double trimmer down here. It's got a few to put in here, timbers. So you can see I'm standing a bit precarious up here on this beam. Anyway, these are the joists going in. So I'm notching them over, getting the levels. I've just put that one down. So I've got to fix them, toe pin it or toe nail it, whatever you call it. Hang on, let me go past this ladder. So, like I said in the other bit, you can see them toe nailed into the beams. It's solid now. Just come over here to Tracy. How are you getting on, Trace? I'm fine, I'm just rubbing off at the moment. As you can, I don't know if you can see there, but yeah. that was quite deep, weren't it, at the back? Oh, it goes all the way to the front, doesn't it? Yes. Out the back, I mean, sorry. So I've been shoving a load of mortar in the back, filling stones in and bringing myself forward, and then this is where the bigger stones. So I'm just going to now do this part here, then work on yeah. there, then come down. But they're quite deep holes, isn't they? Yeah, you there's a lot of work involved in it. It's, it's very tedious work. But I told Tracy about overlapping the stones and overlapping inwards as well. So that strengths is up. She's following that and doing a good job. And then she'll be on to this one next. Yep. So we reckon it's going to be a couple of days' work for you, isn't it, to yeah. do these? Well, because I'm doing bits in between as yeah, well. Yeah, doing a bit I of washing so. and cooking and all the other things women do. And do my headboard, which you can't see yet. Oh, yeah. that's She's uh, stripping the headboard upstairs yep. in the afternoons and then uh, doing a bit of work on there, the upholstery, and she's been doing your curtains as well, haven't you? Yeah, the blinds are made. Just blinds. wait for the fringing, but that's going to be for... Special, special video. Yeah, yeah. That That'd be another video, yeah. yeah. But, uh, right, so what Tracy will do next is, oh, when, I, when she's finished there, I'll be putting that joist back in over there, and then she'll start to stone in all this and connect it all in and point it up to make it all solid. Um, I'm just going to notch uh, these three out in a minute, start on these, and then they'll be stood upright and put into the wall properly. I've already calculated for the cuts. Uh, they sit on the shoes on this side and then on that far side we've got to go all the way through but the as I explained there's some work to be done over there 
of this taking that part of the wall down and uh, once I get the floor over there and done this bit let's get on the floor over there then I'm going to take them old wooden beams out over there and then I'm going to set up a former uh, you'll have to google that but former for concrete and I'm going to put in some uh, concrete lintel across right from there beam to beam sitting on the stones when the stones are built up sorry around the beams um, and then put some rebar in that you need to put the rebar in to make it strong it stops the concrete cracking but uh, that's about it here now, let me get another view up here as well uh, without stepping off the edge of the uh, joist <laughs> so that's going to be a spare bedroom upstairs you can sort of see it now a little bit and you can see in the past uh, well, quite a few months ago now I put in what we call collars across the roof for the apex uh, we didn't film it did we Trey we didn't did we what's that no we didn't the collars on the apex so oh, it's, on Instagram, isn't it? it's on Instagram yeah but uh, I've put them in to so I've created a ceiling up there we can run our cables and so on um, and then you've got the Velux over there okay and like I said this is going to where I'm standing to this beam here above your heads, this uh, this beam here, this is going to be a stud wall coming down off this beam, and this area here, all the way around, is going to be the bathroom, way bathroom. We've we're toying on having a doorway here with a stud wall up there because we're going to close this all in and insulate it, and then you're coming to this bedroom here, so. This will be a big bedroom here so it's a nice size because it's quite wide and it's about four and a half meters that way from this beam which will be a stud wall and then that window there where you can't see with the lights but behind the lights that's a dormer window i'm building a window for there as well main hand making one um and that's pretty much it in it tray look how nice that looks when you brush it off yeah when you do it properly see now i'm not just saying this but because she's Tracy, but well, you, is it because your birthday's coming up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, my birthday out of twenty-six, right? Um, but of all the point and um, women, females who point on YouTube, yours is the best. It is fantastic. You do a really good methodical job, and she follows the procedure properly, and has learnt yourself. You're good at it now. And to enjoy the job you're doing, I think, is half the battle. If you're not yeah. enjoying what you're doing, you, you yeah. don't give it 100%. Also thinking about what you're doing. Yeah. You're starting to think because you're asking questions and you're saying, I must do the overlook, key the bricks, turn them, tie them into the back. You know, so not only are you a good pointer, but you're a good cook. You're good at upholstery. You're good at knitting. What else are you good at? <laughs> being a nan, being a mum. Being a mum, being a nan, being all the things you are. Brilliant. Anyway, that's it, folks. I've, uh, I've been brown licking, nose licking, whatever they call it. <laughs> that hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you are, though, truly are. Right. Let's uh, let's knock it on near there. As we come over to this stage, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you in another video about this because there's quite a lot of work involved there, a lot of thinking, a little bit of structural work as well. So, okay, guys.
folks so we're just at the end of the room where Tracy's working she's just uh, doing the infill I'll just spin you around show you so first of all this is the bit she's done here so she's compacted all the stone right back to the other side of the wall and then filled it in how are you getting on there? I've just finished now hang on let me just get down so this was the big one because I had a lot of stone going in didn't it? yep if you go that side I think, watch the bucket then that went really deep on it I haven't dressed that one yet I've dressed the first beam so that's all done around there it's got to do underneath the beam yeah just that point under the beam and then you're done aren't you yep and that's locked that in nicely I've given it uh, three coats of the treatment yep um, so that will be no worms in there so Tracy's now going to move on to here she's got a little bit to do here first and then she's going to start coming across there and then I can uh, <coughs> finish the last beam off there uh, and as you've seen got all these in now going to get the floors up there uh, get them secured just up to that point there if you can see in my hand and then we can put stuff up there yeah that'd be brilliant won't it for storage for storage get a lot of this stuff down in here and in the front room in there up there and then we got the big job to tackle which is consolidate all this start taking this big wall down over here like i told you before we're but that'll be another video yeah we're just hoping aren't we that the wall doesn't come down as well that well no i don't think it will scary but we'll uh, take our time and get it done properly one, uh, step one, by step and it'll be done one good thing about this is that um we'll have lots of stone <laughs> oh yeah we've got tons of stone haven't we Welcome everybody we've got welcome. a right treat today welcome yes we got uh tracy's making some pumpkin soup again yes i am we've been eating it for the last couple of weeks because we've been having our local yeah farmer who's um been giving us his pumpkins yep and also we've been saving the seeds as well haven't we for next year for us for next year yep because we had an we had an old packet of seeds we brought over from UK which we grew in England and yeah. they were lovely because we used to make lovely soups then in back yeah. in England. So, um, but I don't think that they'll be viable the seeds. But we now we got her a new supply which is fantastic. Yeah. So Trace, show us okay. how you make this wonderful uh, pumpkin I'll, soup we always have. I'll talk through the ingredients. Right. Okay. Well, here we this is a pumpkin soup with a difference. Yep. Okay. I've got some French stick. I've got it already in the oven. Um, just cooking on a very low heat gas mark 2 which I think is about 250 275 on conventional ovens and all I've done is just sliced them so they're like big croutons yeah they'll cook in the oven on the low temperature for about half an hour then once they're finished you just take them out and cool them here I have 1.2 kilos of pumpkins which is roughly about two and a half pounds yeah yep okay then i have uh one liter which is a thousand mils of chicken stock yep okay then i have four cloves of garlic we love our garlic yes we do <laughs> one brown onion just chopped these onions by the way can i just say or what we're growing oh what we're growing they're in a french onion or yeah. whatever they are french or dutch we're not sure um, un onion juan stuttgart Rosen. yeah you that saw sounds... us in our gardening video yeah. for planting if them. you haven't go and have wow a look. they're strong <laughs> flavor is amazing in them. well my eyes were watering weren't yeah. they um and one large long leek literally cut in half and then just sliced yep now with the croutons what i'm going to do is once the pumpkin soup is made um sun on your face i'm going to put this creme it's sorry mascarpone which i've got um four tablespoons of mascarpone cheese and seven ounces of parmesan cheese and what and also looks sorry, like rice doesn't it i know it's cheese though yeah 
it's because I've got the small grater. Yeah. 10 mils, which is one dessert spoon of um, mixed herbs, which has got rosemary, all different herbs in, because I didn't have fresh herbs. What, I, parsley, I, sage, rosemary mm, and thyme. thyme. I used um, all to the... To see the one, the okay. one who lives there. I used all the fresh herbs up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix part of this because I'm going to save some of the mascarpone to put in the soup and the parmesan. I'm going to mix it all together, lay it on top of the croutons like when you have French onion soup. They'll yep. go on top of the soup and then they'll go under the grill. Yeah, so lovely, it's a pumpkin they? soup yeah. with a difference. Yeah. Right, okay, let's turn the heat up. So do we need to come back to your tray or you could because you've got a blitz out? Yeah. I didn't know, I haven't even cooked it yet. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, I know that, but I mean yeah. Did you want to show all that, yeah? Let me just do one stage at a time. Okay. Right, okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the garlic. garlic, leeks and onion. Have it sort of on a not too high a heat. That sun's bright. So this is one of those things again it's a nice simple lovely lovely delicious. delicious we've been having that for lunch a couple of times haven't we and it's well I could say for autumn but the weather has just been so beautiful. Oh it's hot. It 21 degrees I mean yeah. that's quite unusual. So all I'm going to do is cook these until they sweat, until they're soft. So if you'd like to join me back. Okay. Okay. Welcome back everyone. The onions, leeks and garlic now have are lovely and soft and have been sweating for probably about 10 minutes just under. Yeah, looks nice. It smells okay. good. Okay. So now I'm just going to add all the pumpkin and it's been cut up into small chunks. Just going to mix it all well together. Oh, it smells lovely, just the onions and garlic. This is a different way of making pumpkin soup, so there's all different different ways. Now we're going to add the stock. And the stock, what's that made of, Trey? Chicken stock, Matt. Right? It's a chicken yeah. stock, yeah. Chicken stock. Good old chicken stock, eh? Yeah. It's good for everything, so really. Much, it gives it a really? flavour, doesn't it? I have made my own stock, you know, from when we have roast chicken. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Bones and... Right, okay, I'm going to... Just keep that on now, sort of a low simmer. Put the lid on, let, let that cook for about half an hour. Just use a sharp knife. If the pumpkin feels soft, then you know it's ready and I'll join you back soon. Lovely, I'm hungry. Just join me back soon. Yeah, we're going back down that road again. <laughs> you join me, I join you. <laughs> Trey, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, Feed Right, me. here we go. You're gonna get a diet portion. Back, back in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Yeah, welcome the pumpkin back. Scoop, soup, scoop. The, the, the pumpkin scoop. The pumpkin scoop. Pumpkin was soft. So I'll put I, her teeth back in. <laughs> so I blitzed it. So if you want to come and have a little peeky. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Lovely and thick. A nice thick soup. Yep. Yeah. I've That's had we to like it. blitz it in the house because I had to buy a French blender because my English one's still in Meaning the we've got only French English. plugs in there but English plugs in yeah, there. Yeah, so that's why I've had to do it. The croutons are now ready. Yep, Look. sort of. Bread, bread croutons we call them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add quite a bit of salt but that's all depending, pepper sorry, that's all depending on your taste. Some yeah. people don't like it. I think with pumpkin sauce you need, you need uh, so, soups you need to sort um, because it can be quite bland. It can be if you don't put enough seasoning in, yeah, and you're only getting the onion flavour. But there's so many different ways you can use cinnamon, nutmeg, there's all different ways. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just going to stir this round like this. Oh, I can feel it thickening now. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just add a little sprinkling of Parmesan cheese from our ingredient. We're not going to touch this because I want that for the cream to touch what, Trey? Right? on this creme fraiche. Oh, the creme fraiche, yeah, and we've got the... Okay, the creme fraiche, mascarpone. Mascarpone. <laughs> okay, we're just going to put a bit, one tablespoon, well, just about two tablespoons of mascarpone. Mascarpone cheese, yeah? Mascarpone, and then we're just going to stir. I do use, when I've made it in the UK, I actually use double cream and just swirl it so yeah it it's much like nicer it isn't it it's yeah. nicer right okay so we're just going to let that cook 
and the mascarpone cooking that's on a very low heat leave that like that and now I'm going to mix the mascarpone cheese in the bowl with the parmesan and then the mixed herbs but I normally use sage and rosemary but obviously I haven't got any fresh so yours make do just going to mix all this together so but it's like a hard cheese it has the texture of a hard cheese soft cheese soft cheese sorry I think it's the sun sun's getting you and all that wine okay <laughs> So let me just check this, make sure this is all melted. Okay. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah. Just give that one more stir. It's just so simple to do, yeah. it really is. It's actually a little bit darker than the one we had last week, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Or oh, is that is that the, the light in the room? I don't know. Yeah, it looks a little bit darker than we had last week. No. Well, let me just let that go round. So I'm just going to put that there and now I'm just going to put the soup into our little bowls. A little French bowl. I've got a massive set of these, haven't I? I think about 40 bowls, yeah. but that's because we have such a big family. Okay, that's the first one. So we're getting a bit of a presentation. And then what we're going to do... Make sure that's mixed. And these are now croutons, remember? Croutons. Okay, stick that on top. Simple as this. Just beef oh. up, beef up the soup. And then we're going to put them under the grill until the cheese is melted, and I'll see you back when it's ready so to serve. How long will that take, roughly, Trey? Probably about. To know how good your grill is, a couple of minutes. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> see okay. you soon there we go folks this is what we're having for lunch cheese is melted lovely and the soup is lovely piping hot that one and uh that's the sister pumpkin of the one we uh liquidized Got from the farm, <laughs> yes uh, you can put these in bigger bowls if you want to probably be easier yeah um, for you to get your breads out but it's just like having french onion soup isn't it yeah a little bit but i if i was you i'd put um lots of pepper in the soup yeah we well, always yeah. do a bit season i've always said that anyway but you can taste the leek you can taste the garlic yeah it's a lovely onion, simple lovely. simple soup lovely simple. healthy fresh and uh folks give this one a try i know all the americans and probably possibly the canadians would have mm. done this a long long time ago but uh other people in Europe, we're not more mad on pumpkins in Europe. Uh, it's it's more for the Halloween rather than the eating, <laughs> even though some people do love it. Yeah. But uh, we love it, so uh, give it a go. It's a simple meal, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and, and it's very healthy for you. And also, fire over your comments. Let me know if you do it this way or you've tried it yeah, this way. Yeah, your recipes you would be lovely. If you do it a different way, just let us know. Yeah, good idea. Okay. All right, Trace, thank well, you for that. Love a cracker. Thank you.